Hello everyone and welcome back for another Piano Etudes lesson here at Liberty Park Music. In our last lesson we stretched a little bit beyond the five finger close position that we've been working in, but for this piece today that we're working on it's all about what's within it and how we can keep a smooth coordinated execution going over the course of multiple measures. So let's check out this piece. And back to two treble claps. Well, let's go ahead and notice that right away. Most of what's happening in this piece is happening above or around middle C, though our position is not actually C position, as we'll mention in a moment. This piece is from Lewis Kohler's teaching series, The Very Easiest Studies. And like many other teaching pieces that come from larger compendiums from the time this was written, you'll notice that it has no dynamics or tempo, just articulations. You're supposed to use your good judgment and the ease with which you can confidently play to determine how fast and how loud you should play it. I kind of like this piece as a mid-tempo, softer piece. It's got kind of a spooky, snaky feel to me. Notice that measures 1 through 3 are repeated exactly in measures 5 through 7 and 13 through 15, and actually the entire second system is copied to the end in the fourth system. So, lots of repetition, not to mention the constant up and down of the right-hand figures. But be careful, the few spots that are a little different in this piece can be a little tricky. So, let's jump in and take a look at the details. Fortunately, due to the repetitive nature of this piece, we'll be able to cover most of what we want to talk about by looking at these first four measures. Now, first off, we're starting in a brand new position. Both the right and left hands go to A position which, seeing as how we're still playing on mostly all white notes, means that we're in the key or scale of A minor, so yay for minor. Now the left hand throughout this piece plays these back and forth broken chord style figures. Um, one of these in the B section is a little different, so we'll cover that when we get there, but for the first four measures they just look and sound like this. Notice that in measure 3 it's just a down and up between G sharp and E with no middle note in between. Now the right hand here is almost what it seems except for one key spot. Right here between measure 2 and 3 we have a little flurry of fingering numbers and you can see that they correspond with a skip in the up down line. Now that skip is there so that we can um, facilitate a 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5 in measure 3. And I actually see a lot of students trip over this spot. Something about the way it breaks up the nice up and down movement tosses the brain. And coupled with the move in the left hand down to the G sharp, I see a lot of hesitations at this spot. So let's not be in that boat. Um, this is a great spot to practice one to one from first beat of one measure to the first beat of the next. So from the first beat of measure two to the first beat of measure three, like this would sound like this. Like that. You could even break it up um, even further and practice just beats three and four of measure 2 into measure 3, like this. And of course, those things should be preceded by a sizable amount of playing the right hand by itself. So the other thing to watch out for in the right hand are these roving little articulation um, specificities. In measure 4, you can see that we have an accent on the half note heading to a staccato on the quarter note. 
and there are a couple of more staccatos hiding out in this piece for you to discover as well. Thanks for watching this lesson from Liberty Park Music. If you enjoyed this lesson and learned something from it, do us a favor, hit that like button. And if you really liked it, share it around. Let your friends and family check it out too. If you want to find more lessons like this or explore other piano-related topics, please come visit us at libertyparkmusic.com. We have full piano courses ranging from beginner to more advanced levels, and everything is online and streaming 24-7 so that you can design your music learning around your schedule and learn in the comfort of your own home from a talented roster of professional teachers and musicians. Come check us out.